A lot of people consider being a woman is an obstacle. I've never let that stand in my way. I've, I've been around strong females my entire life. And they were very, very independent ladies. And they were good cooks. Beverly took me on as her partner, saw potential in me, which I never saw, brought me down to the Keys on Raymond and said, if I buy this place, will you run it? She said two things to me that I'll never forget. She said, Barbara, be the captain of your own ship. I think success happens every day. It's, it's every day there should be a successful story. To succeed is to carry through on a project and be successful. Even though it might not be what you expected, but you carried through with it. I'm apparently, apparently making new paths for females to follow. I guess, you know, being a pioneer isn't being old, it's forging new grounds. I think Women's Venture does the same thing for people. They give them faith. Probably the same way Beverly put it in me, they put trust in people. They encourage them. They make them feel like they can do anything possible. You know, just like if you're working with somebody, no, notice their accomplishments. And, and if you're working, make sure somebody knows you're working hard. Work hard. Just put your heart into it. I think that's what's going on here, you know. My, my heart's in this place. It's been an amazing life, and it's not over. I'm a pioneer. <laughs>I think it's very difficult for women um, to be themselves in a lot of settings, especially at work. They're all things to all people. And I have seen women where they, you know, have their head down, work hard, somebody will notice me and do the right thing. And really all that means is somebody notices you're probably doing two jobs. And I think that we as women really need to be ourselves. And one of the other ones that really I think goes along with that is to find your voice and use it. And I think finding your voice takes confidence and I think using your voice takes courage. Change is hard. I mean, it's the number one derailer for people in the workforce of change. I don't care if you're male or female. And mostly people will look at change as, you know, we need to change here, but start below me. But I think they don't know where to turn. They don't know who to go to. They don't know how services available. They don't know coaches who can help them start a business. And so Women Venture kind of wraps themselves around these people and, and really helps them get the resources they need to succeed and stays there. They're a safety net and there's nothing better than having a safety net. And I think a lot of people feel right now that there's they don't have a safety net under them so women venture to me is a wonderful safety net for the clients that they serve and to our community women venture certainly is an organization that focuses on helping women be self-sufficient financially independent and theirs is more helping women be business owners and we are helping women who are in mostly corporate America who, or who are working for someone else. But, but the end game is the same. It's a, how, how to help women succeed on their own terms, how to help them be financially independent, and how to help them be confident with their choices and where they're going. So I, I think what we do absolutely parallels with Women Venture. I want to thank Women Venture for being in our community and for surviving in our community because it is getting harder and harder for nonprofits to survive and thrive. Um, and so, Women Venture, the fact that, we, that you're still here is a testament to the people who work there as well as the clients that are served. So, I am grateful that Women Venture is in our community. It's the unsung hero award and the theory is because, you know, I don't like, you know, put myself out there and, bra you know. This award to me is about the women I work with. It really is. And so that, that to me is the cool thing of getting this award, that I wouldn't be getting this award if I didn't do the work I do, and I wouldn't be doing the work I do without the women who I serve. And so that to me is just awesome. So. 
this, this award is about them. My goal, my mission statement, is that we won't have women, you know, whether they are 40, 50, 60, 70, who are vulnerable because they don't have money. I know that I'm very well known, and I've impacted an awful lot of people's lives. For women, a lot of it is earning money. You know, how are we going to earn more money as a gender so that we have more choices on what we're going to create in our life? Men have been taught that they need to be good providers and they need to make money and have financial security. Women have been taught that they have to hold the relationships and the life balance, and we both have to do both. I believe there are external obstacles and there are internal obstacles to growth and development. And growing a business is no different than a person's individual growth. I love working with the complexities of a person, putting that together with the numbers. In my business plan, instead of saying growth at any cost, because I, I do believe that's the model in our society. It was financial growth and life balance. And how do you hold life balance? So your whole life work, that's what success is. How, what kind of a business am I going to have? How can I develop it? And that's what Women Venture is so good at. And I know that Women Venture works with this with some of their clients and some of their classes, which is how do we put a marketable value on our work? The goal is then financial security for each and every woman. But if something is really important and you feel like it's important, you have to go after it. You won't ever know what could have been. Find something that uses the best parts of you and then develop it into a profession.